Hello from GlobalHorseOwner.com out of cyberspace. I'm Tamara Stafford and I wanted to do this Tam Soapbox because I might be offline for a little while. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I've been building this idea since 1980 uh, and uh, I remember distinctly in Darien at Great Island. Um, I had the honor of studying with Carl McCulka at the time and uh, I was an exuberant 20 year old or whatever. Um, I was still going to Juilliard at the time and I was had this wonderful 16 three hand thoroughbred stallion that Carl Mikulka liked a lot and he was helping me with. I, I learned a lot of neat things from him. Uh, anyway, I passed Bill Steinkraus one day and I was so excited. I poured over my excitement and I said, isn't it marvelous we have our satellite up. One day we'll look up and be able to compete with each other and never have to leave home. <laughs> well, they're doing it, folks. However small and small steps make for a lot of ground coverage in England. Now there are two companies. Three years ago there was Interdressage and now they have another company that they're doing online competing. Anyway, getting back to GlobalHorseOwner.com. It was a dream of mine for uh, over several years now to have a place on the internet for all horsemen, all focuses, for passions of anything to do with the equine. Well, to put it specifically, the Facebook for the equine enthusiast. Owner, watcher, breeder, competitor, professional, and among all, and this is the most passionate part of this idea, was it was an untapped resource. Not just for the famous and fortunate that get sponsors or come from wealth that they can you know pursue this grand king sport but also for the fabulous horsemen that are out there all around the world that no one can see well today you can be seen today we have YouTube which is last year announced that they're putting up uh, streaming for everybody that means for very few nickels and dimes you personally can put up what you want to and you can have subscribers and you can be free you can uh, have personal friends only pretty much you make it what you want to be that's what globalhorseowner.com I was trying to go towards in the past few years I've had plenty of people uh, starting with upper echelon places like Sally Lassiter who has Knicker Network um, I believe she did own Horse TV at one point. Um, but anyway, my first two-thirds of my business proposal that um, a really wonderful gentle gentleman by the name of John Ertman, who's a very successful media person, um, and he did tell me, and he was such so gracious to tell me because I'm not into that ilk of the business. I'm, I just love to train horses, not people and businesses. <laughs> and uh, anyway, he said, you know, the great ideas of small businesses starting out are usually usually sabotaged by small-minded people or greed, which I may add, uh, we're having a hard time in the United States with that greed part. <laughs> So I've done it out of love and that's why I want to expose to everybody that the possibilities uh, for you to have an untapped resource that never in the history of horses has been more available now to everyone. Little, big, medium. Uh, and you can make your own TV shows. You can have your little niche. You can communicate with horsemen around the world that are like-minded you can even it's a wonderful joke of mine that I tell a few people sometimes but it's the first time that people that can't stand me for whatever reason so oh, I'm doing it wrong I'm not doing it like it like it's in the book or something like that it's the first time that they're actually gonna have to pay me money to hate me isn't that marvelous folks that's the potential here so you're not just gonna be followed inevitably by your peers or people that just like uh, how you do something. This opens up a whole new universe on the internet. This opens up 
what you are, what your horses are, whether they're in a show every weekend or not. You can you can be yourself, and perhaps we'll get back to classical dressage <laughs> and real hunters and making a real jumper. Because now you don't have to run around and have your young horses seen only at shows by a few group of people. You can go forward with them in uh, your place or your establishment. Have cameras on them 24-7 if you like. From the stall to the wash stand to the training department. You can make podcasts. There's wonderful programs out there where you can edit, voiceover, put your music in. And you do not have to go to MIT to figure all this stuff up or out. Um, it's, it's so different. Every six months, the technology for it is getting simpler, easier. And you can have your own personality. This again, uh, I have a couple of friends that I'm uh, hopefully putting up um, for their pages to do it what they want to do on their pages at globalhorseowner.com. So, whilst I'm getting reorganized um, and getting away from what I call the schismatic people, <laughs> because as every artist knows, and uh, a lot of you know, but some of you don't, uh, getting to Juilliard and going to Juilliard with the minds of the typical or atypical um, horsemen I've seen being cultivated for the last 25 years, both in the sport horse and in the racehorse world as owners, is not the ilk of building and, and making horses. It's a, uh, I'll be facetious now, it's a 60 cent blue ribbon and make a bet. And in the history of racing and in the history of Grand Prix dressage or making an open jumper or doing having a fantastic three-day horse, it is not built on that. It's built around the horse, not around an owner that wants to rush to the showgrounds and, and uh, manipulate a young horse, however, uh, to get a 60-tent blue, blue ribbon. Nor is it to take a young race horse and say, oh gosh, we got a half in, that looks good, let's rush him to the races. Um, all of the horse sports are a sport of kings, meaning you have a king's soul, heart, and then hopefully it hooks up with your mind. There are marvelous people out there with marvelous ideas, uh, and there's a lot of ways, uh, roads to Rome, as they say. And the internet is definitely the place where we can... Uh, focus again on the horse not on how many horses you have on the shed row but the quality you can build your fan club around your pony the young rider at pony club can build a fan club of like children around the world and they can share and uh, build something a living testament a living book um, you can get sponsors that surround you uh, there's a lot of small business companies out there and you're in total charge you can ask for ten dollars a month to be with your podcast or streaming or archive streaming or you can uh, charge subscription fees uh, five dollars or ten dollars to watch your lesson and or your archive show or with the webcams that are on sunglasses to your helmets it's pretty much up to you it's a fabulous thing. I know the Europeans are going to catch on to this fast. I think in the United States, the Western, I've always thought through my research, the, the Western quarter horse people are more prone to grabbing on to new technology than uh, what, what the uh, hunter jumpers are. But as soon as the Europeans, which they already are uh, grasping, uh, then the Americans follow. They sort of are more followers than what they think. Uh, in Canada, Canada is already all hooked up pretty very, very strongly with the internet. So this is an untapped resource and I, I want everybody to know uh, they can go later to my, my business proposal that I'm going to dig out and put online for everyone to see. 
because the way I feel about it, uh, it's content. What you make of it is going to be about content, not the uniqueness of looking at a horse eating all day or going around and around in a circle. But that's fabulous free enterprise that the internet still is and grasp a hold of it um, to the hope that we can cultivate the horses and uh, the sport of kings and cultivate the future of, of different focal points such as dressage, jumpers, hunters and go forwards and you don't have to chain or chase that uh, horse show anymore. Well, good luck, folks, and it's an awesome internet world we're walking into. By the way, you can go to Ustream. Uh, YouTube doesn't have it out yet, but I believe they're affiliated with Ustream. And you can, for free, uh, stream whatever you like or archive stream and link it up to your email uh, fan base or make a podcast out of it and put it on YouTube and send it around the world so have fun and uh, my new Twitter uh, is called long raining and you can catch up with other like-minded people that I've been meeting along some people I haven't seen in 20 years or so but they're all talking and joining in to the awareness of uh, going forward and and really loving the horse again Last but not least, if you'd like to get your Facebook page up, email me at Tamara Stafford at GlobalHorseOwner.com. This is my real big dream, to make that into the Facebook for the equine around the world. Uh, whether it be in Egypt, uh, Dubai, uh, Asia, um, England, Ireland, Belgium, uh, I'll put... Uh, my videographer is, has been my husband all along, if you've watched any of our podcasts. And he'd more than welcome your pictures, uh, linking your YouTubes to that page and updating it in the verbiage and whatever you would like to do. Um, so for those of you that don't have websites and you want to start talking to other horsemen, and have a page, uh, we're more than happy to facilitate it. That's globalhorseowner.com and the email has my name on it, Tamara Stafford, one word, <laughs> all together. And if you like to talk, uh, again, it's long raining on Twitter. So good luck to you guys out there. Uh, we're living in tough times, but this is a real window of opportunity and uh, God bless.